What's up, baby biopaying? We're sitting in 2016, number five on biological interactions. The graph below shows the mass of plants of two different species over time. The plants grew while attached to each other. The plants were separated at the time indicated by the vertical line in the graph. So here they were grown together, and at this point they were separated. So using template one, graph the predicted shape of the plant mass lines after separation of the two plants if the plants were in an obligate mutualistic relationship. So think to yourself, mutualism. Well, that means that both organisms are benefiting. Now, again, this is a obligate mutualistic relationship, which means that they are obligated to be together. They cannot survive without their counterpart. And so if you were to separate these two organisms, say a termite and the protozoa that lives in their intestines, if you were to separate those two organisms from each other, then they're not going to be able to survive without the other. So we would expect both lines to decrease. So both the growth lines level off or decline. And then the reasoning why is because they depend on the other for survival. Without that relationship, both of them will be harmed. So a student got that point. They said if both species one and two had opposite mutualistic relationship, they would need the other to survive. So they would both die out separated. So part two on the template, graph the predicted shape of the plant mass lines. If the species two plant was a parasite of species one plant, just by each of your predictions. So here we see that we've got, of course, the two. This one is going to be the host. This one is our parasite. And so if you were to separate them from each other, the host is going to grow because it's no longer being impacted by the parasite. And the parasite will actually level out and decrease um, because of the fact that it doesn't have a host providing the nutrients anymore. It depends on its host. So um, species one increases, species two levels off or decline. Uh, the parasite requires an association with the host to survive, but harms the host. Without a relationship, the parasite cannot survive while the host continues to grow. So a student got the point for their graph. They said if plant species 2 was a parasite of plant species 1, then the species 2 plant would be harmful to the species 1 plant, but need it to survive. So the species 2 plant would die out due to the lack of a host, while the species 1 plant would thrive without the harmful parasite if the two plants were separated. Hope that was helpful. Remember, 85 penguins are a success by all.